you want to understand the fundamentals of hurdling? In this video, I'm going to explain just that. I'm going to talk about the different races for both males and females, the strategies involved in them, the different steps, and even show you how to learn if you want to. So let's check it out. Hurdles is a race in the sport of track and field where runners have to clear barriers while running. There are two different types of hurdle races for both males and females. One is short and the other is long. The short one, sometimes called sprint hurdles, is 100 meters for men and girls. For men and boys, the race is 110 meters. The long hurdle races, sometimes called distance hurdles, is 400 meters for men and women. High school hurdlers, especially in the United States, compete at 300 meters. Younger athletes sometimes compete at 200 meters. In most cases, there are 10 hurdles in a race. This applies to both sprint hurdle events and distance hurdle events. In the sprint events, the hurdles are closer together, and in the distance hurdles, they are spread farther apart. The rules are surprisingly simple. Get from the start to the finish as fast as possible while clearing the top of the hurdles. The athletes must also stay in their lanes and cannot touch the hurdles with their upper body. The athlete that crosses the finish line first wins. Hitting the hurdles with their feet and legs is permitted. This is counterintuitive for novice spectators who assume hitting the hurdles with their legs is a penalty. It is permitted because the action is self-penalizing, meaning it slows the runner down naturally, therefore there's no reason to penalize them further. In order to be successful at hurdling, the best strategy is to run as fast as you can and stay low over the hurdle so you can keep your speed. Many beginning hurdlers make the mistake of jumping too high over the hurdle. This action causes the athlete to slow down and it takes too much energy. Better hurdlers try to leap over the hurdle just skimming the top while wrapping their legs over the hurdle as they clear it. This takes a lot of practice to master. Another strategy is to take less steps between the hurdles. Taking more and shorter strides is slower than running with natural strides. On the other hand, taking slower stretched out steps is also slow. The key is to run as fast as possible while reaching the next hurdle in the fewest steps as possible for the individual athlete. For the sprint hurdles, the goal is to take eight steps to the first hurdle and three steps between each hurdle. Steps to the distance hurdle vary greatly between boys and girls, men and women, and the length of the race. Younger athletes generally do and should take more steps until they mature physically and take the recommended steps comfortably. The best way to learn to hurdle is take time to learn the proper techniques of hurdling and then start with short hurdles that are spaced at a distance that is comfortable for you. Over time, and as you gain confidence and proficiency, you can gradually increase the distance and the height of the hurdles. I hope this video helped you. If you want to learn more about how you can start hurdling, you can check out my Hurdling 101. You can see that in the notes below. And you can go to my website at acemethodcoaching.com.